Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. And uh, Shalom to the whole elect that's uh, continually plowing, that's uh, giving all diligence to make your calling and election, election sure with all faith, truth, sincerity. Now, uh, the topic of this video is going to be entitled uh, Fervent. All right? Which, uh, you know, when you go into the scriptures, it speaks about being fervent in the spirit. All right? And um, that's the time that we're in right now, man. All right? Even when you come into the truth, you know, it's either when you get put through the fire, are you either going to be fit to receive the kingdom or you'll be fit to receive destruction or is it either or you know there's no in between with um, the Lord who these people are really, in really called God and Jesus alright which is the name of the heavenly father is Yahweh and the son's name Yahweh Shai there's no in between with Yahweh by Shemuel Shai it's either you're with this or you're not alright it's either you fully accept accept this truth or you or you don't all right because lord's not looking for guys that's that's in um in the middle you know the ones that you know do this you know for a fad you know because it's something something to do on your off time all right because you got guys that actually do that man they actually do it like, thinking that's something you know to, to do on their off time you know, just just for uh, just for the hell of it, you know. But when the scriptures scripture speak about being fervent, you know, uh, I'm gonna get the word fervent in a little bit, but it's also akin to uh, boiling water. All right, because whenever you have you know uh, some water, if you ever want to remove any impurities out of that water you just uh set it under a fire or under some heat and you boil it and it'll uh it'll purify the water or get rid of those um get rid of uh bacteria you know and cleanse the water all right and that's also akin to this truth you know when you come in and um you're being cleansed by the water Alright well, Meanwhile you're on fire Alright So when when you have that mixture together It's like boiling water Alright So with that I want to go ahead and, and get into the scriptures Where it uh, speaks about that um, About being fervent So uh, this is the book of Romans Chapter 12 and um, starting at verse uh, nine, it says, "Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good." All right, verse ten. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. So all this is is um, really the breakdown of, of of loving your brother or your neighbor. All right. If you go into the word neighbor, uh, that word neighbor breaks the time breaks down to the word brother. All right. So love is doing the work. All right. And um, also says it says uh, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man. All right. And uh, let's see if I can grab that in um, another view, so I can pull up the word fervent. Um, All right, now this is the word uh, fervent. I can pull it up. All 
So that word fervent, uh, the Greek word is zeal. All right. It says uh, to boil with heat. All right. Be hot. Use of water. Okay. Was a metaphor used of boiling anger, love, zeal for what is good or bad. All right. In other words, having that boiling anger towards what's bad, right? What's evil. All right. And then you have a burning passion or, or a love for what's good. All right. Fervent in spirit, set of zeal for what is good. All right. So, like I said before, man, that uh, the picture which I showed at the beginning of the video about uh, showing you a, a, a pot of boiling water. That's what it's like to be fervent in the spirit. All right. Because in this this truth, this uh, knowledge that we have, which is uh starts with the belief of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is akin to faith. This is the fountains of living water, man. Alright. Which concerns Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai spoke about that towards the uh, the woman in in the book of Matthew. Um it's like not Matthew, uh John chapter four. When they're at the will, right? And he spoke about the fountain of living water. All right, which is this knowledge. Okay. So now let's go back to uh, it says uh verse ten. I'm gonna read verse ten again. It says be be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. All right. So, right here it says uh, to be fervent in spirit when you serve in the Lord, man. All right? Because uh, there's a scripture. If I can grab it real quick. Uh, ah, it's like it. So this is the book of uh, Baruch, chapter 4, and verse uh, 28. It says, uh, For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. All right? So right here, man, it says, uh, seek, seek him ten times more, man. What's that? Being fervent in the spirit. All right? Because there's another precept where it speaks about um, tending to uh, to the flock. All right, because Yahushua said uh, he said the least uh, he said that uh, the things that you do, right, the things that you would have done to the least of these, um, the same. That you would do to him You know roughly paraphrasing Alright Cause it said for the same The same things that you would do unto um, The ones who are of the least Alright The little ones which he which he um, Always described The ones that follow him as little children Alright And he said the same The same that you do to him Alright Now I want to go back and uh, go back to that again. It says, uh, verse 11, it says, Not slothful of business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. All right. Now I want to go to the book of uh, Revelations, chapter 3. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me go down a little bit, a little bit down. All right, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse uh, 15. And um, like I stated at the beginning of the video, 
you know, it's, it's either it's either or with uh, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. You know, you can't be in between, man. You can't straddle the fence, so, you know, uh, because guys, you know, come into this thing, you know, and they find it to be like a fad, you know, like some new style, you know, something to, uh, something to, to get into on um on their off time, man. All right. And um, the Lord's not dealing with guys like that, man. All right. So this is the book of Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that were cold or hot, or thou were cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. All right. So it's whether you're hot. You know, like I showed at the beginning of the video with the boiling water, whether you're, you're hot, you, you have the water, you have the um, the everlasting, you have the, you have the waters, all right, from the fountain of life, all right, which is Yahweh Shai, and it's boiling, man. Why is that? Because the the your your spirit is on fire, okay, or whether you're cold, all right. In other words, you're you're not a part of this, and you don't have the water. Okay. So once again, man, this is just to, uh, to bring out you know a quick, just to do a quick video uh, concerning the word fervent, which uh, you know that's starting with the uh, apostle elders on down to the rest of the Akim to be you know. We have examples, which is the apostles, all right. And then, well, first and foremost, the apostles. Then you have the uh, the elders and the up and coming elders. You have examples in this truth of how to be, man. You see how they deal with the brotherhood and how they um, operate in the spirit, man. And uh, that's the example that we need to follow, okay? Because they follow they 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 follow on the examples themselves, man. And the example. That they follow under is Yahweh Shai, which he was fervent in the spirit when he was when he was all uh, walking the earth, when he was doing the work. All right. So with that, um, Lord willing, Yahweh is edified with this video. And until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They continue to reveal very well, and on peace and safety to the whole elect. That's uh, continually uh, plowing, that's continually laboring in this truth, in, in all faith, sincerity, and giving all diligence. And with that, I'm going to say Charlotte Wong.